Hey guys, Chris here for Two Months Guitars and Basses. In today's Guitar Deck Tips, I will show you how to swap pickups in a Les Paul. In this series, I want to show you how to set up your guitars and basses and how to fix the most common issues without using too many special tools. Every guitar is slightly different and you need to be aware of a number of things if you want to change pickups in them. This time we'll take a look at Les Pauls and I try to give you a couple of tips on how it's easiest to swap the pickups in them. In case you enjoy Guitar Tech Tips, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell. Thank you. Let's get rid of the strings first. Since the strings and the bridge are gone, the posts would move around. If you don't want that, just tape them. Unsolder the pickup wires on the two volume pots. Then undo the pickup ring screws and remove the old pickups. It's time to install the new pickups. These are the Lolar Imperial humbuckers. Let's do it. I start with the neck pickup because the wires will run under the bridge pickup inside the cavity. This way you can navigate the neck pickups wire better. As soon as the wire is in the electronic cavity, you can either solder it already or tape it that you know later which wire is from the neck pickup. In case the wires are too long, shorten it of course, just make sure you don't cut them too short. These Lolar Imperial pickups have four conductors, so the bare wire and the green goes to ground, black wire is hot and red and white are soldered together. These are the wires you will use if you want to split the coils, I won't do that so I'll just leave it as it is. In case the pickups you're using have these kind of traditional braided wires, the center is going to be hot and the sidewall, the shielding, is ground. If you need help with soldering these wires, we have an episode for you. Make sure to check it out. The link is going to be in the description box.
In case you're not using these wires for a coil split, I highly recommend using a shrink tube to cover them. In case you don't have a shrink tube, just like me today, <laughs> the second best option is to simply tape it. Plug in the guitar and see if it all works, then close the cavity and you're good to go for a test ride. Almost. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions left. I'd also love to know what you want to see in this series. Don't be afraid of setting up and fixing your guitars yourself. It's time to become your own guitar tech. Oh, <laughs> the shoulder ring iron. <laughs>